Why, hello, you friggin' geniuses. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve a system of equations with three variables, right? So you can see we have three equations and they each have an X, Y, and Z attached to them, all right? So a couple things you wanna keep in mind is the elimination method is normally a little better than the substitution method when you're dealing with three variables and three equations. Okay, so if you have a choice, you might wanna go elimination method. And the other thing is you have to use all three equations when you're using the elimination method, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do here is simply pick two of these equations. You can pick the first two if you want. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just pick these two first equations and obviously you're probably gonna have to rewrite them. You're not gonna be able to magically slide them down like that. So uh, we're gonna take the first two equations and then we're just gonna eliminate one variable using the elimination method. So in this case, we can just eliminate X if you want, okay? So in order to eliminate X over here, we're gonna have to multiply this equation by a negative two, right? We're gonna have to multiply this whole thing by a negative two. So that way we'll have a negative four X here because we already have a positive four X right there. Okay, so if we multiply this whole thing by a negative two, uh, we're gonna have negative four X plus six Y minus 10 Z is equal to positive 14, right? Negative two times negative seven is positive 14. And then we're gonna add this one to the other one right here, which again, I'm gonna use sorcery to just bring it down. Okay, and then we're gonna add these together. Okay, so first of all, negative four X plus four X is equal to zero X, so that's eliminated. Then uh, six plus two is equal to eight Y. Negative 10 plus three is equal to negative seven Z, and that's equal to 14 plus 12, which is 26, all right? So that's the first step, just taking two equations and eliminating one of the variables, all right? Now we're gonna use this third equation, and we can use this third equation with either one of these two, let's just use the second one, okay? So we're gonna use, this time, we're gonna use equations two and three, and I'm just going to magically rewrite them, quote unquote, and put them there, okay? And we want to eliminate the same variable again, so we wanna eliminate the x. So to do that, we're going to have to multiply this first equation by a negative three, right? So we'll have negative six up top since we have a positive six X right there. So if we multiply that one by negative three, we're gonna get uh, negative six X plus nine Y minus 15 Z is equal to positive 21, all right? And then we'll bring this one down, right? Six X minus Y plus four Z is equal to negative three, okay? And again, we're just gonna add these two together. So negative six X plus six X, again, that gets eliminated. Here, nine minus one is equal to eight y. Negative uh, 15 plus four is equal to negative 11 z, and that's equal to positive 18. Okay, so that's the big first kind of messy step. Just trying to get rid of one of the variables using all three equations. Okay, but now you can see we're just left with two equations. So this one right here, eight uh, y minus seven z is equal to 26 and this one right here, 8y minus 11z is equal to 18, all right? So this might be a lot easier now because it's just two equations and two unknowns, right? So you can use the elimination or substitution method. I'm just gonna keep using the elimination method because as you can see, we have an uh, 8y right there and an 8y right there. So if I just make one of them negative, I can eliminate them, right? So let's just eliminate the, or multiply this first one by a negative one. So we'll multiply this one by a negative one, okay? So if we do that, and I'm gonna scroll down again, because we're gonna need some more room. So here we're gonna get negative eight Y plus seven Z is equal to negative 26. And then this one stays, stays the same, right? So eight Y minus 11 Z is equal to positive 18. All right, so then just adding these two together, eliminated again, right? And then positive seven minus 11 is negative four. So negative four Z is equal to negative eight. All right, now we're left with one equation and one unknown. So to solve for z, we just need to get rid of this negative four. So we're just gonna divide both sides by negative four. Those cancel out. So then we get z is equal to uh, positive two. Okay, yay, we just solved for one of the variables. And you know what, I call that progress. All right, so now that we know what z is equal to, all we have to do is plug it back into one of these uh, equations that have a z in it so we can figure out what y is, okay? so. Um, let's just plug it into this uh, this one right here, and I'll write it off to the side over here. So we're gonna have 8y minus 11z, but now we know what z is equal to, right? It's equal to two, and that's equal to 18, right? 
So then we get 8y minus 22 is equal to 18. So then we get 8y is equal to adding 22 to both sides, uh, 40. Okay, divide both sides by 8. So then we get y is equal to 5, all right? Boom, just got our second answer. Wow, I'm feeling pretty confident now, all right? So now we got two of the three answers. So we know what z is equal to, what y is equal to. So now we just need to figure out what x is equal to, right? So in order to do that, we're gonna have to go back to one of the equations that has an x in it. So one of the three original equations will work. Okay, so remember z is equal to two. Wow, that looks like two is equal to two, right? That's horrible. Z is equal to two, Y is equal to five, and we just have to plug these into any of these. Uh, let's just pick the first one, right? So we're gonna get four X plus two Y, which is five, plus three Z, uh, Z again is two, is equal to 12, right? So then we're gonna get four X plus 10 plus six, is equal to 12 so then we get 4x plus 16 is equal to 12 so then we get 4x is equal to subtracting 16 from both sides we get negative 4 right so then solving for x right here we'll divide both sides by 4 so then we get x is equal to negative 1. boom oh my god we got all three wow did not see that coming okay cool so we got all three variables right and if you wanted to write your answer as an ordered triple so basically like a coordinate point but like in three dimensions it would just be x y z right so then in this case the x is negative one the y is five and the z is two okay so that would be your ordered triple right there so if you found the video helpful definitely leave a thumbs up down below and if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples just let me know in the comment section below